Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will attempt to fix my heated seat on the driver's side. What I notice is that the bottom seat cushion is no longer heating up. The back cushion is working. So what I'll be doing is to remove the seat cover. So before I remove this seat cover, the first thing I need to do is to remove this power seat control. And get yourself this pry tool, and just carefully remove the knob here, same as this one here. To get this cover off, there are actually clips all around that you need to carefully release. And I got this pick tool here. Just kind of go around. I went ahead and removed this lower plastic trim for the seat heater button. And to remove this, there is a Phillips screw right in the front here. And then all you have to do is release the two plastic tab at the front and at the back here. And then there is a plastic plug that you just have to pull out. I was able to remove this switch right here. And the only way I got it out was to pull back the two tabs that were on each side. I was holding it in and same thing for this one I'm gonna do the same thing there you go to remove the seat there are four bolts at each corner there's one here one over on this side and then two at the back here at each corner The next thing is to remove these connectors. So right here you're looking at the front of the seat and there is a plastic strip that runs along the entire edge what you want to do is release that clip now along the side of the seat again you'll find these type of uh, plastic clips you need to release so you can pull the seat cover back so I'm trying to get this outside edge out and it's very difficult so I started with this front edge here and get your finger behind the plastic clip and just carefully pull this back and it'll release. So if you look at the seat cover here you see the two lines running on each side. When you lift up the seat cover you'll see that there is a velcro strip that you need to slowly just pull back. At the end of the velcro strip, there's actually a metal clip that you need to release and then the rest of this velcro will come out. So after many years of use, as you can see, this white pad is the heating element and it's kind of all crumpled together. And I'll show you in a sec, but the wiring that goes at the back of this is actually broken off. So I'll need to fix that. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and remove this completely and in the front there is this edge that is glued down. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this for now. On the back of the heating pad the wiring wraps around to the back of the seat and then it comes around to this connector right over here. So we'll go ahead and disconnect this and then pull this connector off. Here I'm at the back of the seat and before you in Pull this connector through that I showed you earlier. This is tied to another connector that goes to the seat back for the heating element there. So on this connector go ahead and squeeze this and you remove this like this. Now carefully pull that wire up and out comes 
the heating pad. Right now I have the heating element on my workbench and you see there's a thin wire that comes out of this top left hand corner and then there's another thin wire that comes out from the bottom left hand corner and this is one continuous wire that runs in between the felt liner and it basically runs like this up and down like this it continues on back to this side and all the way to this end and this is where it comes out is one continuous wire and this is the wire that heats up now when I first took this out of the car this top thin wire is connected to this black wire here this bottom thin wire is connected to this green wire here I tried to get a measurement between this top wire and this bottom wire but I couldn't get a reading so what I did was that I cut this wire right off the black wire and I cut this wire off the green wire I stripped some of the insulation back on both sides and I measured it and now I can get a reading so now if I put my multimeter on these two wires I get a reading of about 23 24 ohm the next thing I did is to apply 12 volt to these two wires and it should heat up the element so as you can see on my power supply it's drawing about 1.7 amp at 12.4 volt after about 20 seconds or so I can feel this starts to warm up so what I believe happened is that the connection that was soldered on earlier there must have been a break on that connection so all I have to do is resolder this end to this black wire and then resolder this end to the green wire For this connection, originally there was a piece of heat shrink on there, so that's what I'll do. I'll put a piece of heat shrink back on. So now that this is all fixed, it's ready to be installed back into the vehicle. As another check, I quickly connected this to the wiring harness, and indeed it's warm now and it's heating up. So to install this back on the seat so it doesn't move around, I'll be using this headliner adhesive. 3M also makes a similar product, you can get it at uh, most hardware stores. So I'm going to spray this surface and then I will tack it onto the seat cushion there. As you can see, I've installed the uh, heating element back on the cushion and I'll put everything back together and that's it. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.